the fish pond. Pepper and her family are having a day out. We're going to see a pond that has little fish swimming in it. Ooh! <laughs> I used to go there when I was a boy. We're here. Where's the fish pond? It's in the middle of the woods. We have to walk to it. Will we get lost like we always do? Oh, oh no. Remember, I came here when I was a little piggy. But that's a long time ago, Daddy Pig. In the olden days. Thank you, Pepper. Well, in the olden days, we started the walk by going along a path. Ah, this is the one. How do you know? There are little flowers growing here, just like I remember. Things might have changed, Daddy Pig. Oh, oh nothing changes that much. Now, we walk past some little trees until we come to a big tree. I think the little trees have grown. Oh, yes. They do all seem big, don't they? How are we going to find the right big tree? Oh, oh, oh <laughs> it's usually me that walks into trees. Mummy Pig has found the big tree. Clever Mummy! <laughs> I knew it would still be here. This way, everybody. Are we nearly at the fish pond yet? Almost there. But I'm getting a bit hungry. Don't worry. There's a cafe on the way. Oh, lovely. I could do with a nice cup of coffee. Can George and I have ice creams, please? <laughs> of course. Ice creams for everyone. <laughs> the cafe should be just about here. Oh. Where's the cafe? Is it behind that rotten pile of wood? I think that rotten pile of wood is the cafe. Oh. Uh. There's not going to be any ice creams coming out of that today. Hello. What can I get you? Oh. A cup of coffee and three ice creams, please. Of course. Thank you. Mmm. Delicious. Next stop, the fish pond. This way. Oh, you don't want to go that way. That goes straight into a blackberry bush. Aha. It's the shortcut. It's the way I went when I was a boy. No. If you want to go to the fish pond, you need to go up that path. Well, I'm taking the shortcut. All right. Who wants to go through a blackberry bush? Me. And who wants to go on the path? Me. <laughs> Race you, Daddy! Ho, ho! I'll get there first. Bye! I hope the fish pond is still here. Yes, everything seems a bit different to what Daddy remembers. What's that? It's the fish pond. George, let's see the little fish. <laughs> oh, Daddy said that the fish were tiny. But they're ginormous! It's been a long time since Daddy was here. The fish have got a lot bigger. Like Daddy's tummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where is Daddy? Oh, he might be lost. I'd better ring him. There's a phone ringing in that bush. Hello, Mr Pig speaking. It's Daddy. Oh, <laughs> hello. I'm stuck. Hello, Daddy. Hang on. We'll pull you out. One, two, three, pull! <laughs> Daddy is a blackberry bush. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the fish pond. Let's see the little fish. Whoa, that's a big fish. Oh, look. There's something glittering. They're coins. When I was little, we used to throw a coin in the pond and make a wish. Can we throw coins in? <laughs> Of course. I wish the fish pond stays here forever. Oh, oh, that's what I wished for when I was a little piggy. And your wish came true, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper, George and Susie Sheep have had a sleepover at Rebecca Rabbit's house. It's fun having carrots for breakfast, Mummy Rabbit. Yes, we always have carrots for breakfast. I could eat carrots all day, but I'd better go to work. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Mummy Rabbit.
rabbit, why don't you work? I do work, Susie. Who do you think looks after these two little bunnies? You do, Mummy. <laughs> and you can help me by tidying up your toys, please, before someone trips over them. That'll be my sister. Hello. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Auntie. I can't stop long. I've got lots of work to do today. I've got the supermarket checkout, the ice cream stall and the bus to drive. See you later then, sister. Bye, sister. Whoops! Wow! Miss Rabbit has tripped over one of Richard's toys. Oh, my ankle. I can still hop to work. Uh, no, uh, you oh. stay here and get better. But I've got so much work to do. I'll do your work for you. Which job is first? The supermarket. OK, Rebecca, look after your auntie. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> Mummy Rabbit has arrived at the supermarket. Thank goodness you're here, Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit is ill. I'll be doing her job today. Are you not Miss Rabbit? No, I'm her sister, Mummy Rabbit. Is this where I sit? Uh, yes. Have you ever worked a checkout before? No. How much is this? Oh, I don't know. I've got a voucher. Do you take book tokens? Can I pay with a card? Um... Susie Sheep is dressed up in her nurse's costume. Don't worry, I'm only a pretend nurse. Stick your tongue out and say, ah. Ah. Rebecca Rabbit's house. Who's speaking, please? It's Mummy Rabbit. Is everything OK? Yes. Good, because this job is going to take me all day. What about Miss Rabbit's other jobs? We'll need more help. <laughs> Uh, Miss Rabbit's ice cream stall. Daddy, why are you buying an ice cream? Oh, Peppa, I was on the way to the gym when I thought an ice cream would be nice. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is ill. You've got to sell the ice cream today. Oh, oh, I'm an expert at ice cream. Can I have a cherry ice cream? Uh, strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, banana. With pistachio and strawberry, please. Ah, strawberry. Oh, it's melted. How about ice cream soup instead? <laughs> Granddad Dog's breakdown service. Miss Rabbit is ill. Can you drive a bus? Today? Of course, Peppa. <laughs> All aboard! <laughs> Mummy Sheep's car has broken down. <laughs> Granddad Dog's breakdown service. <laughs> Can you rescue me, please? I'll be straight there. We would like to apologise for any inconvenience this may cause to your journey. Driving a bus is quite hard. Selling ice cream is quite hard. Running a supermarket checkout is quite hard. Uh, I'm feeling better. Can I get up now? No, you must lie very still, but please keep breathing. Are you feeling any better, Miss Rabbit? It's not easy doing all your jobs. It's not easy looking after your little bunnies. <laughs> you will be back to work tomorrow, won't you? Yes. And you'll be back at home, won't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Granny and Grandpa Pig are going on holiday. They are bringing Polly Parrot to Peppa's house so Peppa and George can look after her. Ah! Hello, everyone. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Hello, Granny Pig. <coughs> Polly is very excited about her holiday with Peppa and George. Hello, Polly. Ah! Hello, Polly. <laughs> Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. <laughs> What's in Polly's suitcase, Granny? This is Polly's food. George, can you guess what Polly likes to eat best? Chocolate cake! <laughs> no, not chocolate cake. 
Polly likes bird seed. Uh, bird seed! <laughs> <laughs> Can I feed her, Granny Pig? Can I feed her? Yes. It's very important not to give Polly too much food. Yes, Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Grandpa, can Polly come out of the cage? Yes, but you must keep all the doors and windows closed so Polly doesn't fly away. Yes, Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Goodbye, Peppa. Goodbye, George. <laughs> Goodbye, Granny Pig. Goodbye, Grandpa Pig. Uh, Goodbye, Granny Pig! Goodbye, Grandpa Pig! <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a cup of tea? Uh, would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> George has got Polly's bird seed. <laughs> George, that is too much bird seed. Polly will go very big and burst like a balloon. Pop! Uh, burst like a balloon! Pop! <laughs> 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 What's that noise? Ice cream! <laughs> <laughs> Ice cream! Hooray! <laughs> oh dear, George has forgotten to close the door. <laughs> Ice cream! Ice cream! It is Miss Rabbit, the ice cream lady. Hello, Mummy Pig. <laughs> Hello, Miss Rabbit. Four ice creams, please. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> George, you forgot to close the door. <laughs> Polly will have flown away. Don't worry, Peppa. I'm sure Polly is still inside. Polly's not here. Oh. <laughs> We've lost Polly. Grandpa and Granny are going to be very sad. <laughs> Maybe we should try the garden. Look, what's that? What has Mummy Pig seen in the garden? Ah! It's Polly! Hooray! Ah! But, Daddy, how are we going to get Polly down from the tree? Ah! Don't worry, Peppa. I'll rescue Polly. Come on, Polly. Ah! Would you like a cup of tea? Ah! Oh, no. Polly has flown higher up the tree. Oh, dear. Don't worry, Peppa. I'll be very careful. Come on, Polly. Ah, bird seed! <laughs> I wonder where George is going. George has got Polly's bird seed. Polly loves to eat bird seed. Ah! Ah! <laughs> George has got Polly down from the tree. Hooray! Hooray! What's that noise? Daddy Pig's mobile phone is ringing. What? <laughs> Hello? Oh, Granny Pig. Hello, Daddy Pig. Please, may I talk to Polly? Yes, of course. Hello, Polly. Are you having a nice holiday? <laughs> Hello, Polly. Are you having a nice holiday? <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> the rainbow. Peppa and her family are going for a drive to the mountains. Are we nearly there yet? Not yet, Peppa. <sighs> Let's play a game. We each have to spot a car of our favourite colour. Yes! My favourite colour is green. Mine is orange. Mine is red. George, what's your favourite colour? Blue. George's favourite colour is blue. Let's see which colour car comes along first. OK. Here is Candy Cat in her green car. <laughs> green! That's my favourite colour. I win. Hello, Candy. Meow. Hello, Peppa. Here is Danny Dog in Grandad Dog's breakdown truck. Orange, so I win. Hello, Danny. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Here's another car. It's Susie. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Boo! Yes, George, it's a blue car, so you win. <laughs> <laughs> this is a silly game. There isn't a red car anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> 
There is one red car, Peppa. Where? <laughs> what colour is our car? Uh, it's red. I win, I win. <laughs> <laughs> the family have arrived at the mountains. We'll have a fantastic view when we get to the top. We're here. Hooray! Hooray! Look at the lovely sunny view. Ah! Oh dear, it has started to rain. Where's the lovely view? Uh, there's a lovely view. It is Miss Rabbit's ice cream store. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Daddy Pig. Four ice creams, please. What flavours would you like? Mint, orange, strawberry and blueberry, please. OK. <laughs> Look what I've got. Ice cream! Oh, <laughs> they're our favourite colours. That's right. Green for me. Orange for me. Strawberry red for me. And George's is... <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Yummy. Look. The sun has come out. And look what else has come out. A rainbow! Pepper and George love rainbows. A rainbow only comes out when it's rainy and sunny at the same time. Ooh! It's got all our favourite colours in it. Yes! Red and orange and green and blue. <laughs> <laughs> And do you know what you find at the end of a rainbow? No. You find treasure. Oh, can we go find the treasure now? OK. The end of the rainbow looks like it's just on the next hill. Let's go! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> it's a rainy, sunny day. The rainbow's here to play. Rainbow, rainbow. Red and orange and yellow and green and purple and blue. Rainbow, rainbow. It's a rainy, sunny day. <laughs> Here we are. Oh, where's our rainbow gone? It's moved to the next hill. You cheeky rainbow. Quick, let's catch it. Rainbow, rainbow. It's a rainy, sunny day. <laughs> it stopped raining. And the rainbow is gone. <laughs> Don't worry, George. Maybe the rainbow has left some treasure behind. There's something over here. Have you found the rainbow's treasure? Yes, I have. A big, magic puddle. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> this is the best rainbow treasure ever. <laughs> <laughs> The sun is shining. It is a very hot day. What a lovely hot day. <laughs> Pepper and George are wearing their boots. They are going to jump in muddy puddles. I love muddy puddles. Oh. Oh, dear. The sun is so hot that the puddles have dried up. Mummy, Daddy, the puddles are all dry and we can't jump in them. Never mind, Pepper. It's so sunny, you can play in the paddling pool instead. Yes, the paddling pool! <laughs> First, you have to change into your swimming costumes. Yes, Mummy! <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are wearing their swimming costumes. Mummy Pig is wearing her swimming costume. And Daddy Pig is wearing his swimming costume. Because it's so hot, you need sun cream. <laughs> So oily and yucky. <laughs> Yuck! Oh, <laughs> what a fuss about nothing. Yes, we all need sun cream today. Oh. <laughs> Come on, George. <laughs> Let's get some air into this paddling pool. Daddy Pig is pumping up the paddling pool. <laughs> Oof. Easy as pie. <laughs> oh. 
Pepper holds the hose. And Mummy Pig turns on the water. Where's the water? <laughs> Peppa and George love their paddling pool. Ice cream! Ice cream! Miss Rabbit, the ice cream lady! <laughs> ice cream! On very hot days, Miss Rabbit sells ice cream. Mummy, Daddy! Can George and I have an ice cream, please? Oh, well, I suppose it is an especially hot day. Hooray! <laughs> please, can I have one as well? Everyone likes ice cream. Hello, Mummy Pig, Pepper and George. Hello, Miss Rabbit. <coughs> what ice creams would you like? Can I have a cone, please, Miss Rabbit? Of course you may, Pepper. Thank you. <coughs> the same for me and one for Daddy Pig, please. And what would young Mr George like? Dinosaur. A dinosaur? Silly George. He always says dinosaur for everything. Well... It just so happens that I do have a dinosaur-shaped ice lolly. <laughs> dinosaur. Grrr. George, you should eat your ice lolly before it melts. Dinosaur. George loves his dinosaur ice lolly so much he doesn't want to eat it. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Enjoy the weather. <laughs> George, I really think you should eat your ice lolly before it melts and falls on the ground. Oh, dear. George's dinosaur ice lolly has melted and fallen on the ground. Never mind, George. You can share Daddy's ice cream. I'm sure he won't mind. <laughs> it is so warm, Daddy Pig has fallen asleep. Daddy Pig does look hot. Let's tip water on Daddy to cool him down. Good idea, Pepper. Whoa! What happened? You were all red and hot, Daddy Pig. So we tip water on you. Oh, I see. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the puzzles are back. Quick, George, let's get our boots. <laughs> Peppa and George are wearing their boots. <laughs> Peppa and George love the hot day, but most of all, they love jumping up and down in puddles. <laughs> <laughs> spring! It is springtime. Grandpa Pig has made a chocolate egg hunt. Is everybody ready? No, Grandpa. Freddy Fox isn't here. <laughs> hello, everyone. Hello, Freddy. Freddy. Ah, hello, Mr Fox. Are you staying? Oh, I wish I could. Oh, I loved egg hunts when I was a little lad. See you later, Freddy. <laughs> Now, are we ready for the egg hunt? Yes, Grandpa Pig! There are lots of chocolate eggs hidden in my garden. You must find them. Easy. But be careful not to step on my little plants. Oh, it's so exciting in springtime to see these baby plants starting to grow. We promise to be careful, Grandpa. Very good. Off you go, then. <laughs> Grandpa Pig's chocolate egg hunt has begun. Have you got time for a cup of tea, Grandpa Pig? Oh, yes. It will take them ages to find my eggs. I've hidden them very well. Here's an egg. Pepper has found a chocolate egg in a plant pot. Here's another egg. Rebecca Rabbit has found a chocolate egg hiding under a leafy bush. Hooray! An egg for me! <laughs> Emily Elephant has found a chocolate egg in the branches of a tree. I think I can smell chocolate. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. Yes! Freddy Fox has found a chocolate egg in the middle of the bird bath. <laughs> Grandpa, Grandpa! We found the chocolate eggs! It was really fun, but it was a bit easy. It wasn't easy for the little ones. George, Richard and Edmund haven't found any eggs. 
I wonder where the other eggs are. <laughs> Chalky egg. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Edmund, I think there's something behind your ear. <laughs> Everyone has found a chocolate egg. <laughs> What do we do now, Grandpa Pig? Ha <laughs> ha! You eat them, of course. <laughs> Hello, children. Granny, Granny, we found all the chocolate eggs. Well, where are they? I can't see any eggs. <laughs> <laughs> They're in our tummies. And round your mouths. <laughs> <laughs> Did Grandpa hide the eggs well? No. We big ones found them easily. But the little ones needed helping. <laughs> George, Richard and Edmund don't like to be the littlest ones. Don't worry. There'll soon be even littler ones in the garden. Oh, yes. The little babies. It's so exciting. Grandpa already told us about the baby plants, Granny. But it's not that exciting. We're not talking about baby plants, Peppa. Oh, what are you talking about? Let's go and see Jemima, Vanessa, Sarah and Neville. They're chickens. Yes, and they have eggs too. Can we eat them? No, Freddy. These eggs are about to hatch. <laughs> oh, we're just in time. The baby chicks are hatching. Oh, baby chicks! Now the chicks have hatched, it really is springtime. Let's pretend to be baby chicks. <laughs> I'm a little chick singing cheek, cheek, cheek. I like to pick up food with my beak, beak, beak. I've a fluffy yellow head and straw for my bed. Peppa and George have come to Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig's house for lunch. <laughs> Granny Pig! <laughs> Thank you, Pig! <laughs> Hello, my little ones. Would you like to pick some vegetables from the garden for lunch? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig! Papa Egg! Hello, Peppa, George. This is Grandpa Pig's vegetable garden. He has grown all these vegetables himself. What's this? Dinosaur. A dinosaur? <laughs> Let's choose some vegetables for lunch. <laughs> Pepper, do you like tomatoes? Yes, Grandpa Pig. George, do you like tomatoes? No. George does not like tomatoes. Oh, dear. Do you both like lettuce? Yes, Grandpa Pig. No. George does not like lettuce. Oh, dear. I must have something that George likes. Do you like cucumber? Yuck. George does not like cucumbers. And he does not like lettuce. And he does not like tomatoes. Well, George, what vegetable do you like? Chocolate cake. <laughs> Silly George. Chocolate cake isn't a vegetable. <laughs> Maybe George will like the vegetables when they're made into a lovely salad. <laughs> oh, lovely fresh tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. First, we have to wash them. Peppa and George help Granny Pig wash the vegetables. <laughs> Maybe that's enough washing. Granny Pig has made the tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber into a salad. Grandpa Pig, can you call everyone to lunch? Lunch! <laughs> Granny Pig has made pizza for lunch. And here's some salad. 
made with grandpa's tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. Chuck in, everyone. <laughs> George has eaten his pizza, but George does not like the tomatoes or the lettuce or the cucumber. Oh, dear, George. Don't you like the salad? No. George, just try a little bit of this lovely tomato. Yuck. George, this is cucumber. Grandpa Pig grew it in his garden. Yeah. Try a piece of lettuce, George. It's yummy. <coughs> oh, now, now, George. <coughs> Look what I'm doing. Now it's a dinosaur. A dinosaur. <laughs> George loves dinosaurs. George is eating the tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. Well done, George. Would you like some more, George? Full. Oh. George, are you too full to eat any more tomatoes, lettuce or cucumber? George is too full to eat any more. George, are you too full to eat anything more? <coughs> George is too full to eat anything more. Oh, well. Then you won't want any of this chocolate cake. Chocolate cake! <coughs> <coughs> My word! George seems to have got his appetite back. <laughs> 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 Pepper and her family are going to the museum. <laughs> Daddy, what is a museum? It's a place full of interesting things that are very old. Older than you? Yes, even older than me. Ooh, really old. <laughs> <laughs> There's one room full of things that belong to kings and queens from long ago. <gasps> I want to see the king and queen's room. And there's another room with a real dinosaur. Wow! Dinosaur! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mummy Pig. Hello, Miss Rabbit. How many tickets, please? Two adults and two children. Dinosaur! <laughs> and a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper wants to see the room full of things that belong to kings and queens from long ago. Wow! Dinosaur? But George wants to see the real dinosaur. <laughs> Don't worry, George. We will see the dinosaur next. <laughs> Pepper, these are all the things that the Queen had a long time ago. This is the Queen's special chair. It's called a throne. It's beautiful. This is the Queen's dress. It's so pretty. Look, Pepper. This is the Queen's golden crown. Wow! What lovely things. Mummy, where is the Queen's television? They didn't have television then. <gasps> no television? But they did have computers. No, they didn't have computers either. What did they do all day? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, if I was the queen, I would eat as much cake as I wanted. Pepper imagines being a queen. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> delicious. Is there anything else you would care for, Queen Pepper? Yes, more cake, please. Of course. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Coming, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy, I'm Queen Pepper. You must bow when you speak to me. Oh, I'm most terribly sorry, Your Royal Highness. And what do you do? I'm your Daddy. Hmm, that must be very interesting. Yes, it's very interesting. And what room is this? 
This is the dinosaur room. The dinosaur room? George, this is the dinosaur room. <laughs> dinosaur! Where is the dinosaur? He's somewhere in the room. I can't see him. He must be very small. Actually, Peppa, he's very big. <gasps> wow! These are the bones of a real dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> George imagines being a big dinosaur. <laughs> the dinosaur room is George's favourite room. <laughs> My favourite room is the king and queen's room. And it looks as if Daddy Pig is already in his favourite room. Which room is that, Mummy? The room with the cakes in. Daddy Pig's favourite room is the museum cafe. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, tuck in. Oh, yes. This is a very nice room. <laughs> My birthday party. It is Peppa's birthday. It is very early in the morning. It's my birthday. <laughs> George, wake up, it's my birthday. <sighs> I'm going to have a party. <coughs> and Daddy is doing a magic show. <coughs> Quick, George, let's wake Mummy and Daddy up. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are still fast asleep. Wake up, it's my birthday! Wake up! Oof. <sighs> what time is it? It's very late. It's five o'clock in the morning. Yes, the whole day is going. <laughs> OK, let's get your birthday started. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and George are giving Peppa her birthday present. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Peppa. Peppa! Ooh! What is it? <laughs> A doll's dress! I can put it on Teddy! Thank you, everyone! You're welcome, Peppa. <laughs> I didn't know Teddy was a girl, Teddy. Oh, Daddy. Of course Teddy's a girl. <coughs> I love my new dress. Thank you, everyone. <coughs> You're welcome, Teddy. Don't get it dirty. Do you know what's happening next, Peppa? Yes! My friends are coming for my birthday party. And Daddy is doing a magic show. <laughs> no one will know the magician is your Daddy. You will introduce me as the amazing Mysterio. The Amazing Mysterio. Yes, the Amazing Mysterio. Daddy's been practising his magic tricks all week. My friends are here. <laughs> Yippee! Here are Peppa's friends. Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, Rebecca Rabbit and Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Peppa. Nay. Nay. Come on, children. The party is starting. Hooray! <laughs> Daddy Pig is going to do a magic show. Peppa, remember what you have to say. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the amazing Mysterio. OK, Daddy. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's Magic Daddy. Hooray! For my first trick, Abracadabra. <gasps> wow! It's Teddy! For my next trick, I need a helper from the audience. Me! 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 me. <laughs> I just need one. <laughs> Young lady, you put your hand up first. Can you tell the audience your name? <laughs> Susie Sheep. OK, Susie. Here are three balls. A red one, a blue one and a yellow one. OK. You have to secretly choose one while my back is turned. OK. Have you chosen one? Yes. 
Abracadabra. You chose yellow. No. Uh, Abracadabra. Blue. No. Abracadabra. Red. Yes, it is red. Hooray! <laughs> Silly magic, Daddy. You said all three colours. Shush, Pepper. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> 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 Would you like one more trick? Yes, please. Ooh. Close your eyes. No looking. Say the magic words. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. Open your eyes. Ooh. Hooray! My banana birthday cake. Blow the candles out, Pepper. <gasps> Thank you, everyone. This is my best birthday ever. <laughs> Edmund Elephant's birthday. Mr Zebra the postman is delivering a letter to Peppa's house. Oh, look. Someone's got a party invitation. It must be for me. It says... To George Pig from Edmund Elephant. Please come to my party. Doesn't it say George and Pepper? No, just George. Hmm, I didn't want to go to a silly baby party anyway. Hello? Oh, it's for you, Pepper. It's Emily Elephant. Hello. Hello, Pepper. Do you want to come to Edmund's party as my friend? Oh, yes, please. My mummy wants us to help with the little ones. Help? Yes, I can help. Danny and Susie are helpers too. Oh, goody. <laughs> Everyone is here for Edmund Elephant's party. <laughs> oh, the helpers are here. Hello, Mrs. Elephant. Elephant. Let's get this party started. <laughs> Who wants to play musical statues? Yay! This is what you do. Dance when the music is playing. And when it stops, freeze like a statue. Ready, steady, go. Just dance already. <laughs> this one is still blinking. You're out. <laughs> You're moving, George. You're out. <laughs> Richard and Edmund are out. <laughs> so Zaza is the winner. Hooray! You've got a medal. It's made of real plastic gold. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, musical statues is over. Lovely. <laughs> now it's time for Pass the Parcel. Yay! When the music plays, pass the parcel round. When the music stops, take some paper off. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> George, pass the parcel. Edmund has got a medal. <laughs> Hurry up, Richard. Just take the paper off. Richard has got a medal. <laughs> George has got a medal. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, George isn't passing the parcel. <laughs> no, George, that's Zaza's medal. <laughs> it's a giant teddy. Edmund has one. <laughs> Mummy, pass. Parcel is finished. Um, lovely. Now it's time for food. Hooray! <laughs> oh, the helpers have taken all the seats. <laughs> this is Edmund's party, remember? The helpers can eat after the little ones. Oh, oh yes. yes. We're the helpers. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. 
Juice, please. Juice, please. Juice, please. Jelly, please. Jelly, jelly. More, please. Happy birthday, Edmund. Happy, Happy birthday, Edmund. Edmund. <laughs> it is the end of the party. Thank you to the helpers. You all worked really hard. Yes. It's not easy looking after little children. <gasps> I need to lie down. I need a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> George's birthday. Today is George's birthday. <laughs> it is very early in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> George, it's too early. Dinosaur. <laughs> Go back to bed. <laughs> it sounds like someone's up bright and early. Happy birthday, birthday George. George. George woke me up. You woke everyone up on your birthday, Pepper. That was different. That was my birthday. And today is George's birthday. Happy birthday, George. <laughs> Here's your present, George. Ooh. Dinosaur! <laughs> I knew it would be some sort of dinosaur thingy. Ho, ho, ho. Squeeze its tummy. <laughs> Too scary! <laughs> <laughs> George, I've made you a birthday card. Can you guess what the picture is? George cannot guess. I was going to paint you a flower. Oh. George does not like flowers. But in the end, I painted you a... Dinosaur! That's a lovely picture, Peppa. Yes, I'm very good at painting. <laughs> now, we're going somewhere very special for George's birthday treat. Yippee! Let's go! Where are we going? You'll see. <laughs> the family are setting off for George's birthday treat. Are we going to the circus? No, but it's somewhere just as good. Um, is it the cinema? No, much better. I just can't guess. Where can they be going? We're here. The family have arrived at the museum. Why are we at the museum? Come on, you'll see. What can George's birthday treat be? George? What do you like best in the whole world? Dinosaur. <laughs> Ooh, dinosaur. George's birthday treat is a visit to the museum dinosaur room. Huh, silly old dinosaurs again. <laughs> dinosaur. <gasps> Be frightened, George. It's not a real dinosaur. It's just a robot. Look, I stand on this spot and. <laughs> and now there's another surprise. <laughs> All of George and Peppa's friends are here. Surprise! <laughs> Mummy Rabbit has made a birthday cake for George. Can anyone guess what sort of cake it is? A dinosaur cake. It is! What an amazing guess, Peppa! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, George! George. <laughs> There's one last surprise. Follow me. <laughs> what is the last surprise? What do you think it is, Peppa? It's probably something to do with dinosaurs. Oh, what's that? <laughs> it just needs to be filled with air. I know, I know. It's a bouncy castle. Peppa loves bouncy castles. But if it's for George, why isn't it something to do with dinosaurs? <laughs> it is a dinosaur. A bouncy dinosaur. Hooray! Ha <laughs> <laughs>
George loves bouncy dinosaurs. Everyone loves bouncy dinosaurs. <laughs> this is great! Happy birthday, George! <laughs> It is the day of the school fete. Miss Rabbit is running the raffle. Roll up, roll up. The top prize is a ride in my hot air balloon. Wow, that sounds fun. <coughs> Can I have a ticket, please? The blue ticket wins a toy car. Well done, Danny. <laughs> Can I have a ticket, please? Thank you, Peppa. What are you hoping to win? The balloon ride. <coughs> Wouldn't it be nicer to win the homemade chocolate cake? Daddy Pig loves homemade chocolate cake. <laughs> the red ticket wins the balloon ride! Hooray! All aboard for the balloon ride! How many passengers, please? Four, please. And Teddy, dinosaur! Oh, and a Teddy and a dinosaur. That makes six. All aboard! <laughs> Hurry up, Daddy Pig! Hop aboard! <laughs> Quick, Daddy! Splice the main brace, chocks away, full steam ahead! Very impressive, Miss Rabbit. You must be an expert pilot. Not really. This is the first time I've ever flown a balloon. Oh. Hold tight! Miss Rabbit heats up the air in the balloon to make it rise into the sky. Bye-bye! <laughs> Would anyone like to do the map reading? I will. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? I'm very good at map reading. Oh, this map is a bit difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go higher? Yes, please. Higher, higher. The balloon is rising high into the sky. Oh, where did the sky go? Don't worry, Pepper. We're just flying through a cloud. Ooh! Wow! The sky is back again. Hooray! <laughs> big balloon, big balloon, bigger than the sun and moon. Flying high in the sky, fly and fly and fly and fly. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Teddy, we're flying really high. Peppa, be careful you don't drop... Teddy! I've dropped Teddy! <gasps> don't worry, Peppa. We'll rescue Teddy. Hold tight, everybody. We're going down. Miss Rabbit is making the balloon go down so that Teddy can be rescued. I can't see Teddy anywhere. There he is. Teddy's caught in a tree. I can use this anchor to rescue Teddy. Slowly. Slowly. There. Daddy Pig has rescued Teddy. Teddy! Hooray! <laughs> oh, dear. No one is looking where they are going. Look out! Tree straight ahead! Hold tight! Oh. First, Teddy was stuck in a tree, and now we are stuck in a tree. Daddy Pig, do you know where we are? Uh... We are lost, aren't we? Yes. Oh. Look, everyone. That's Granny and Grandpa's house. Yes. We must be in Grandpa Pig's garden. As I thought. Ahoy there! Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig. Goodness me! Ahoy there, Miss Rabbit. Uh, help, please. Grandpa! We can't get down! Don't worry, I've got a ladder. Hooray! Everyone climbs down from the big balloon. Granny, Grandpa! <gasps> Miss Rabbit took us for a ride in her big balloon. How very exciting. <gasps> I'm afraid the most exciting thing we can offer is a piece of my homemade chocolate cake. Homemade chocolate cake? That is exciting. <laughs> That was the best balloon ride ever. And that was the best chocolate cake ever. <laughs> <laughs>